What's good, y'all, man? So I know in the video I said the Redskins has signed um Delaney Walker, but um I I actually went back and read it. They said that we were showing interest in Delaney Walker. So don't quote me on that, but um we're showing interest, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's signed by the end of the day. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Hail to the Redskins. Peace. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video, and I'm kind of getting irritated, man. I'm kind of getting irritated. This is my fourth time making this video. Um, my phone cut off multiple times, so I'm here, and hopefully it's going to last. So, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Juan Gotti back with another video, and in today's video, um, we have some more Redskins signing, two signings today. Not nothing that's going to blow your socks off, but I mean, still got to report it because it's my job. So, the Washington Redskins kicked off today by signing former Titans tight end, Delaney Walker. Delaney Walker is 35 years old, and he he's towards the end of his career. He's towards the end of his career. Um, he's coming off with two years back-to-back -back years where he has has suffered season-ending injuries. Now, Delaney Walker is a former Pro Bowler multiple times and a um, second-team or Pro tight end. Um, now. Delaney Walker, like I said, 35 years old. He's towards the end of his career, so I don't really see him being a every down tight end. He could be a tight end that grooms our young tight ends like Hella Hedges and Jeremy Sprinkle. I'm not really a big fan of Jeremy Sprinkle, as you know uh, if you're if you're a regular of the channel. You know I'm not a big fan of Jeremy Sprinkle, but I guess since he's on the roster, he can groom him too. I really don't care for Jeremy Sprinkle. I really want him to be cut, and then we draft two tight ends this year, so it can be Hell Hedges and the two tight ends that we draft. So Delaney Walker, he welcome to the squad, man. Welcome to the squad. Um, like I said, you're 35. You know, I see him being as a role on this team. I see him being the Vernon Davis of this team. He can be a guy that can go out and do his due diligence when his number is called. Now he's not an every down tight end, but he can be. A tight end that can, you know, go out there, make a few catches for Dwayne Haskins, probably score a touchdown here and there. But um, he's not going to be a tight end that's going to come in and be a George Kittle, Zach Ertz, a game changer. You know what I mean? Maybe if we were talking about when he's 28, 25 ish, then we could be talking about him being a game changer because then that's where he's in his prime and he's being, you know, every now tight end. But his career is coming to an end. And I'm pretty sure this might be one of his last stops. If not his last stop, then it's coming up very soon. Delaney Walker, he's very injury prone, if you guys don't know, if I haven't said it already. Um, he, he's coming off of back-to-back -back injury years where he's suffered a season in the injuries. So that's very unfortunate. It's a little bit, bit of bad luck, but it's also we have to face the fact that he's injury prone. So Delaney Walker, welcome to D.C. And um, not too much to say, man. Groom our young guys right. Go out there and make a few catches when your number's called upon and basically have the Vernon Davis role. 35 years old, Um, not too much else to say. Just welcome to D.C. Now, moving on to the next person on the list. The Redskins signed safety, former Pittsburgh safety, Sean Davis. Now, who, who, who? You may be asking yourself because I'm asking myself when I first read it. Who is this Sean Davis guy? I don't know who he is. I'm, if I'm being honest, I do my research, but I really, really don't know who this Sean Davis do it is. Honestly, if I'm being honest, um, Sean Davis, I looked him up. He played for the Pittsburgh Steelers last year, but he didn't have any stats. So I'm looking at this move as a depth piece for Monte Nicholson and um, all the cats back there. Monte Nicholson, we don't even know if he's going to be the number one safety, but he is looking like the number one free safety. We have a big hole at free safety, so hopefully we can adjust that in the draft. Now, I'm saying Monte Nicholson, he has a lot of upside to him, but we don't know if he can stay on the field because we know he ended. He's not really a bad guy off the field, but just a couple, you know, recent incidents caused him to make people make him look like he is a bad guy off the field. Now, Monte Nicholson, people can say he was in a 3-4, so he didn't thrive. He doesn't thrive in a 3-4 because he's asked to cover a lot of ground. But you're a free safety. You're asked to cover a lot of ground anyway. So maybe he can thrive in a 4-3. If not, let him go. And we can move on after that. But I still want us to address free safety in the draft. Now to Sean Davis. Sean Davis is a safety from Pittsburgh. I think he just, we just picked him up so we can have depth. And he's from the Washington, D.C. area. He went to Maryland. Um, so I guess welcome home. You know, you can play in front of your home crowd. Um, see, we can see what you got in the preseason. But other than that, I'm not even being, I'm not being, you know, mean or whatever. But I don't see you being a, a key factor on this team. I see you being as a depth piece, like I said earlier. Um, you know, just in case guys get hurt. Um, so not too much to say about Sean Davis. I really don't know who he is. Excuse me. I just know he played for the Steelers, and he didn't have any stats last year. So 
Well, yet again, here come the Redskins with these mediocre, mediocre um, um, free agent moves. Now, I gotta get it that that we want our our team to make the big move, but they just haven't have made the big move. And I see them building up in the draft where all the talent is really. But I still would like to see us spend all this money that we have. But we've been spending it on you know backups and players that. Um, aren't going to really do an impact on this team, which I mean, I guess is good because we still need depth because we know how this team gets when they late in the season. They tend to become fragile and get hurt, and we don't have depth pieces. I mean, I guess this is a good signings for the free safety depth. Now, the only big sign that we have is Kendall Fuller and probably Wes Schweitzer. Other than that, I really don't know who these randoms are, but welcome to Washington, D.C. I don't mean to be rude, but... Uh, I really just don't know who you are, and I really wanted our team to make that big move, but I just don't think Ron Rivera is that kind of guy to spend money in free agency, obviously, if we if you can't tell. So without further ado, it's me, boy, Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Redskins, and always, it's me, boy, Juan Gotti, man. Let me know how you feel about these free agent pickups. We got Delaney Walker. We got Sean Davis. Welcome to D.C., guys. Um, not too much to say. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Hell to the Redskins. Let me know what you guys think about this topic down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hell to the Redskins.